Hi all, Wind here. So in today's video, I want to showcase how we could apply some code um, to a HTML field, essentially, uh, so that we could embed PDFs, uh, as an example, into um, an HTML section um, or, or a record and essentially allow it to be interactive. Uh, so uh, in today's example, the way I will showcase is we have a knowledge art core here and I've got my uh, dummy PDF, essentially. And uh, as you can see, it's attached. So uh, when you click on view, you can see the, the, the PDF. If I show the article itself, so just a test article, just to showcase how the PDF would look, it, it would look through that, and then you would click it and be able to view it. Um, but there is a way that we could actually embed it into the body of the uh, the article body, which is HTML field. Um, and uh, also, if you do this, it will be a global impact in the sense that you could then do this to any HTML field, but there is specific code you have to put in to the body. Um, and there is some security um, uh, constrictions, but we do provide some uh, regex that ensures that you could only um, embed something that's already an attachment. So I'm going to showcase that. So for this to occur, there's two things you essentially need to do. The first thing is you would need to um, up edit the out of the box uh, script include um, to essentially allow an iframe iframe to be um, available to be input into the HTML. So essentially this uh, script include is the HTML sanitizer config and essentially is that security element of ensuring that malicious code um, and certain functions are not able to be put onto the, the HTML sections because um, as you uh, are aware or may be aware that um, uh, if you do provide access to users to update whatever they want in HTML, there are security issues and you could end up with with a security threat. So, um, but there is a way that we will um, kind of accommodate for that. So essentially what we're going to do is we are going to create an iframe object. So this is basically defining rules to the specific iframe element. Um, so you just open up my curly brackets and then I'm just going to add the attribute that I want. So essentially um, when I'm inputting my code, some of the parameters that I'd like them to be able to put in a certain order. So it allows, so I want them to be able to define the width. Let me just get those in. Hi, oh, again. Got to do syntax correctly, otherwise it won't work. So let me just ensure I've got my speech marks in there. The source and allow full screen, which is just an attribute to ensure that is enabled. And then we're going to create a new line. Now this next line is essentially where we will be adding. Um, the regex essentially to ensure that only attachments so um once you've uploaded the attachment only those could essentially be used uh, to embed so there's two things with this this ensures essentially that um the platform restrictions you have already to what type of material can be input or um can be imported or uploaded uh is um kind of confined to so that way um someone can't just embed malicious code because uh, service now restricts you from adding uh certain types and and a, a code sample might be one of them I think out of the box it is but always check uh what your parameters say on that one um so yeah so essentially that's that's the the main reason to this part so let me just uh finish the scripts essentially we're going to say source and essentially we want to say this contains the following table name and then starve essentially it could be anything after that um and essentially what this means is if the link that they put in doesn't have this attachment uh 
were dark following so anything essentially um then it's not going to allow you to embed so that's kind of how we accommodate for that security requirement as we don't want um users putting whatever they want um that could be security threatening um and as an example so pdfs is one that's um out of the box allowed to to be uploaded so this allows us to embed those pdfs so that's the first thing that i'm gonna have to do so if i save that okay now the next thing so this doesn't automatically allow it to be embedded essentially do you do need to write a line of code uh, within the article body um, and a very easy way to do this so we're just going to open up our source code here and uh, we're just going to put it right at the uh, actually i'll do it right after the test so i just want this line here so i'm just going to paste this uh, piece of code essentially um, open up my my iframe object of explain what the source is so the source here uh, is table uh, the view and then essentially uh, the sys id which i will show a quick way to grab the sys id from uh, the attachment on the record uh, the width i could define uh, customly uh, based on how i want it to look on the article so i'm just going to leave it 800 and a high 800 for now so first things first save this uh, because if you do come out of this without saving it you're going to lose that line of code so save this so right now our request attachment doesn't exist because we need to get that sys id it's a very easy way if we click on view and then on the top right at the end you'll see the url uh, sys id equals and then oh, sorry sys id equals and then the sys id so that's in the url so now um essentially i've got i've copied and pasted my sys id so i'm just going to go back to source code and essentially remove everything including the brackets because we don't need that great and save this and now this should load that pdf so if i just save this and let me show how the article would look now so we've got our tech uh test text that we put in there and then right after it wherever you want to position it based on the source code you can see i've got my pdf and again you can make it uh a lot wider if you want um and um you are, I, I could show that in a moment actually but as you can see this is now embedded so rather than having to click on it um i can view it within the article itself which i think is very very cool very neat and there is no security threats if you ensure that that regex attribute is included in that html sanitizer config script include so let me uh just go back and i'll just showcase uh we're just going to change the width let's see what happens if we make it double let's see how it looks okay might be too big but let's take a look Yeah, that's too big, but as you can see, it does make it wider, uh, so it kind of covers more of the page. So yeah, I hope that's uh, that's pretty much it. Just a very quick tip on how you can make this usable. I do want to point out that um, you would have to put this uh, code in for each um, kind of HTML where you want to include it. So it's something you could provide uh, steps for for your, your kind of knowledge contributors um, to, to be able to do if they, they're tech savvy. Um, if you do want to see how we could possibly create this as a button, uh, give give it uh, a thumbs up and I'll see if uh, we can make this into a part two video on how we can do that to make it a little bit more dynamic. It will be a little bit tricky because we probably have to work out how we um, define which attachments on the record we want to show. So we probably have to look at create, creating some sort of uh, pop-up screen or iframe to, to allow that option. But um, yeah, let me know uh, if this helped and uh, thank you guys for watching. Okay, have a good day. Bye.